Alright, this is second grade module 5, lesson 12, where students are going to still be using um, a variety of methods now, instead of just like the arrow method or the decomposition method or the standard algorithm. Now students are going to get to choose whatever strategy they want to use and then explain how they did it. And the idea being, we want students to look at the problem and then think about the numbers in that problem and then choose an, a solution method that really seems to make uh, sense for that, those sets of numbers. We want students not only to get the right answer, but we also want them to begin to think about efficiency. Now ultimately, parents and teachers, whatever method the ch student wants to choose is the most efficient method, all right? We don't, we don't, there is no ha ha, got you, you chose the wrong way to do it. Uh, as long as the students are getting the right answer and they can explain what they're thinking about, um, we're okay with that. We, they don't need to always choose what the adult in the room thinks is the most efficient method. All right, so let's put some of this into practice. All right, so in this problem, we're being asked to solve 435 plus 290 using two different strategies. So I thought I'd include this in the video because, you know, for a lot of teachers, a lot of parents, they're like, why do we need two different strategies if we just do the standard algorithm and we get the right answer? Well, the idea being, remember, we're not trying to just teach the standard algorithm, which reduces mathematics to a bunch of rules that our kids m are forced to memorize. Really what we're doing here is we're trying to teach number sense. And so we want students to be able to look at this problem, 435 plus 290, and not only do we want them to be able to eventually think of the student standard algorithm as the go-to thing, but we also want students to be able to think of number-based, number sense-based number sense techniques that might go a little faster, and it means that students really understand the math rather than just following the rules. But we'll throw the adults in the room a bone, and we will um, solve this problem using the standard algorithm first. So we've lined everything up. Five ones plus zero ones equals five ones. Three tens plus nine tens, so that equals twelve tens. That means we can bundle ten of those together to equal a hundred, and we, we're going to have two tens left over, and then we have four hundreds plus two hundreds plus one hundred, that equals six hundred, so our answer is 625. Now, by the way, parents, teachers, if we wanted to, we could use a place value chart to verify that what we did was correct. I'm going to save us the time, and I won't do that, but that's what we could have done. Now, I thought another strategy I would share is probably the arrow method. I like the arrow method on this one because there's not a lot of regrouping. So, let's see. I might start with 435, and I'm going to add 200, and that gives us 635. Now, keeping in mind, I'm going to add 90 because really our problem, by the way, is 435 plus 290. Um... But at this point, let's see, hmm, maybe I'll add, so we've done, we've added our 200. Let's see, I think we could just jump straight up and add our 90, so let's add 90. So we might have our students have to count on their fingers, so they might say 635, and then they might say 600. 45, 655, 665, 75, 85, 95, 705, 715, 725. So it's not actually a 6. It's actually going to be 725. So that's another way to do it is the arrow method. Personally, I don't feel like that was particularly efficient. Actually, I thought of another way. I'm going to show another way real quick because I think this is kind of cool. 435 plus 290, I could see that 290 is really close to a landmark number. It's really close to 300. We only need 10 more. 
So if I decompose 435 to 425 and 10, and now I can see that, oh, 290 plus 10, that's 300. And then 300 plus 425, that equals 725. So you'll notice I'm going to go back, and I've solved it three times. <laughs> and now I can go back and I go, hey, wait a second, look at this. I goofed up. Because 400s plus 200s plus 100, that equals 700s. So our answer is 725. All right. And because I solved it in a variety of different ways, I was able to compare my answers and see that, yep, I originally goofed up there. So... I chose this in, in our video because it says choose the best strategy and solve. Parents, teachers, come on. Whatever strategy speaks loudly, most loudly to the student, that's the best strategy to use. Um, there is no competition here as to what really is the best strategy. So I'm just going to give you one method per problem. And... Um, but it is absolutely not necessarily the best strategy. Uh, I'm going to start by decomposing uh, to one, uh, 458 to 1 plus 457. Because there, you can see I now made a landmark number. I made a friendly number, 300. 300 plus 457 gives us the answer, 757. So that's that one. Hmm. On this one, what's the best strategy? I don't know. Whatever the students like. But I think on this one, I'm going to do the arrow method. So I'm going to begin by adding 200. So that gives me 933. Then I'll add 10. And that gives me 943. And there's my answer. And the last slide for this video choose the best strategy. Oh, let's do the standard algorithm on this one. Let's do the vertical method. Nine, 295 plus 466 and 5 ones plus 6 ones is 11 ones. So that's 1 in the tens column plus 1 left over in the ones column. 9 tens plus 6 tens plus 1 ten. That's 16 tens. So that means we can bundle 10 of those tens together for 1 in the hundreds column. And we have 6 tens left over. And then we have 2 hundreds plus 4 hundreds plus 1 hundred. So that's 7 hundreds. And so our answer is 761. As long as I'm talking about it, you know, another method that students might prefer on this one is the decomposition method, making a friendly number, because we can see that this is really close to 300. So if I decompose this to 461 and 5, you can see that we now have our friendly number. There's our 300 is our friendly number plus 461, that equals 761. And sure enough, that's the same answer as what I got before. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 12, where students are choosing from a variety of solution methods to solve the problem, and they get to choose whatever method makes the most sense to them for that problem. And that wraps up this lesson. <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> oh, this is this is why I go to the closet. <laughs> huh? Don't be mad. Oh, I'm not mad. No. No, you're not mad yet. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs>